if you can't find manatees anyplace else because it's too warm for them, there's one place you can go called Hom Homosasa Springs Wildlife State Park where they have a resident manatee. One way or the other, we're gonna see one. Let's go down that road. Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. I'm Gary of the jungle. <laughs> Gary of the jungle. <laughs> Thanks to the record highs they've been having in Florida, the manatees have pretty much moved out of all the springs where we've been. There's been some lingering, but not very many. So, this place is supposed to have a resident one that we for sure should see. We, just a tip for RVers, <laughs> there's, the parking is not the biggest. There's um, one, two entrances and our GPS took us to the wrong entrance. It took us to the one actually right where the springs is and that's a very small parking lot. The other one is the main entrance. Make sure you go to the main entrance on Highway 19. I think that's what it was, yes. And that one is a bigger parking lot, but even that was, even the overflow <laughs> was um, pretty tight also. So what happened is we found out a school group came in today and they, um, the parents all drove. So that's why the parking lots are so full. Yeah. Anyway, there was an interpretive talk at 11 a.m. and at 1 p.m. And we were trying to make the 1 p.m. one, and we are not going to make it. So we're just taking our time walking. It's a three-quarter mile. If you miss the tram, it's a three-quarter mile walk to the uh, where you want to go. And then they have a lot of animals in the area that are also rescued, refuge type th situation. And so you can see a lot of animals, kind of like, I'm guessing it'll be sort of like going to a zoo, but I'm not sure. The cost is $13 per person. This is the most we've paid for any state parks so far. And we still will not come any closer to the 120 for the annual, and we're gonna be leaving the state soon. So, um, that's the way we chose to go without getting the annual ticket. So my phone is on, doesn't have a lot of charge on it right now because I didn't check it like I normally do. And so I have to make sure I, I uh, conserve so I can show you the animals, especially the manatees.
You're gonna fly? You're gonna fly? You're gonna go? Go ahead. He says, I can do that too. I can do that too. I can. I can. Reflection. There he is. See it moving? Yeah, right here, Sarah. There he is. Okay, let's see it right here. There he is. Mm -hmm. it, it does have little flappers. That's not 44. That's a different one. They get all those slash marks. Yeah. 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 Time to come here is when it's cooler. Morning would have been better, like early morning. What time did they open? Eight, maybe. Don't remember. I don't either. But we did see some some uh, birds that we have seen from a distance, other places. We got to see them up close, really up close. That was neat. <laughs> yeah. We did get to see the manatees that were in the the care pool where they take care of um, ones that maybe are injured or are um, getting some medical things done with them or something, care. So we did get to see that, not very well. Would have been neat if they'd had a, a, a taller observatory looking down on it. Yeah. That would have been neat, but it's been around for a long time and they're making improvements and they're there's uh, like the windows down in the <laughs> observatory thing. <laughs> kind of foggy. Hard yeah. Hard to see through them. Yeah. They they want to replace those windows with something else somehow. Their windows were 50 years old. So we know it's been here at least 50 years. And is it worth coming here? I would suggest coming on a day that's not a school day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Different kind of wildlife. Yeah. <laughs> Some of those kids were a little rambunctious and uh, running around quite a bit. The, the <laughs> I got a kick out of the uh, chaperones. Yeah. Yelling at them and saying, be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> One got me right in the ear. Oh yeah. Oh, that was yeah. terrible. Yeah. 
I've been quiet ever since. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, kids are kids though. That's, and when there's that many, it's I mean, oh, there yeah. had to have been, there had to have been well over a hundred kids, maybe more. That's a lot. <laughs> anyway, oh my gosh, there's an orange tree. Can Look I go that. in there and get an orange? Probably not. I'd probably get in trouble. There it is. Hello, oranges. Oh, I want to get a fresh orange. We went to the grocery store. And they had oranges, but they were from California. I want some from Florida. So we're going to have to keep looking. This is the area where they're supposed to be. But uh, haven't found any yet that you don't have to buy a whole crate of them. <laughs> That's going to be kind of an issue. <laughs> when you live in a small house and you have no yeah. note on the storage and there's only two people, you can't possibly eat that many oranges. So... We're going to keep looking for that. Hope you enjoyed what we were able to show you. Sorry we couldn't show you more of the manatees. They are a beautiful, incredible animal. They have no predators, but they, the biggest predator is pollution and motorboats. That's the biggest, that's what injures most of them and they die because of the injuries. So watch out for those manatees and the better time of year to see them would have probably been January there would have been a lot more of them in January but we weren't here in January no we were in Texas where it was nice and cool freezing <laughs> yeah alrighty if you like this video please be kind <laughs> if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and um, if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button down below and then uh, a little bell's gonna pop up, ring the bell, and you'll be notified every time new videos come up. If you don't ring the bell, you don't get notified. Please leave a comment. YouTube really wants to see activity. They wanna see comments, they wanna see shares, they wanna see people, a lot of views. So if you know anybody who wants to come to a wildlife center, pass it on. All right, until next time, God bless. <laughs>